we can talk about how I'm still sleeping in the same confines as where I was sleeping on Summit. Uh, I think that's a humanitarian thing right there, you know? That's an issue on its own. But somebody ballsy enough to walk through your apartment while you're out cold? That's just fucked up. Clear violation of your right. Your right to be safe, your right to be secure, the right to be left alone, the right not to be bothered, and that's felony breaking and entering. Doesn't matter if it came through one way or another. No one consented, no one consented to being watched, no one consented to being videoed, no one consented to being in my apartment. Period. No one overrides that. Me. No one should be hit with chemicals or something to be given bad pains in the stomach or... Yeah, no one should be given bad pains, hitting the stomach, hitting the heart, hitting the lungs with the attempt to cause pain or inflict great harm. No one should be in my apartment because one, it's a liability, and two, hey, there's that fuzzy sound going up the beltway again. You know, I hear that all the damn time. Same damn car. I shouldn't have people walking around while I'm out cold. Like, that's just creepiness. I'm supposed to be left alone under the landlord renter's guidebook, you know. You know it's just breaking and entering and creepiness. It's stalking. Stalking with intent. And then you cause harm, so it's stalking with intent to harm. I mean, what a perfect place, though, you know? You got... You got a wall, 95, and then you got just trees and woods. That's the corner of my apartment, so... You know, like... Just out of the way. Here, I've been out of my last place for nine months. Stuff destroyed. 